Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach. Today we're doing another Yukomi Omi View video. Currently, the price is 5179 and a low of 4928. Oh crap, I didn't actually notice the low before I started the video. We in the fours. Time to not financial advice before I say anything else, but time to grab me a bag. 5529 and a high. How y'all doing today? I haven't been posting much lately. I do apologize. Uh, we're gonna get back to it soon. I think I posted a couple days ago, but like when I do YouTube channels, I try to like, I want to post like five times a day all the time, but I have so many channels going on now that it's kind of uh, difficult to do that. I mean, I literally post like over 10 times a day every day to YouTube on an ongoing basis, but not every channel gets the same amount of treatment every time. Having said that, we're gonna have a look at this right now. BB Digital Collectibles tweeted out first appearances of Kitty Pride and Emma Frost plus the X-Men Engage the Hellfire Club. Marvel's Uncanny X-Men 129 features VB's exclusive rare and ultra rare covers by Alan Gua. Sorry if I've got the name wrong. Drops in blind box format Tuesday 30 November at 8 a.m. PT. Maybe getting some followers now. 136,000. Actually, hold on, let me double check something. Because Ikomi had like twice, if not more than that. Um, of VV's followers not long ago. How many followers does Ikomi have? No way. VV's actually going to overtake Ikomi soon, follower wise. That's crazy. At this rate, VV's going to have a few hundred thousand followers next year. If they go really hard, they could even hit a million. We'll see. That's that's important, right? That that's 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 huge. Right. Let's have a look at the details. Marvel's Digital Comics, Uncanny X-Men 129. Let's jump into it. The next offering in VV's Digital Comic lineup continues with another iconic comic. There's a lot of repeatedness here, you know? A lot of repeating. It's all good, though. Let's have a look at this. So we see right here the covers. We have five covers as per usual. We have, uh, I don't even know. Let's, let's, let's look at them one by one. So we have the classic cover, that's the common. Marvel Comics Group, The Uncanny X-Men. I'm not even going to try to know. I, I, I don't know all the characters. That's obviously Wolverine. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have classic cover, which is common. We have the vintage variant, which is the uncommon. So actually, like, let me be clear. The reason why I don't, like, I, I, I've seen them in films and I know a bit about them. I was planning to like learn more about the Marvel stuff. I just, I've been working on other channels lately that don't require me to know this stuff. So I haven't really been looking at it. And I don't know if I ever will know it fully. Maybe I will, to be fair. But what are your thoughts on this? What do you think the worth of each of these will be? Because I oftentimes like tell you what I think maybe could happen. But I'm assuming that some of y'all maybe have more time than me to look at Marvel or just enjoy it more than me. Or maybe you have the same level of not no knowledge as I do when it comes down to Marvel, etc. Because uh, I know like the, you know, the the famous films, but I don't know the, the nitty gritty nerd stuff. So anyway, we have the common, we have the uncommon, we have the rare. This looks really cool. I like that. Then we have the ultra, rare, I assume. Yeah. Okay. And then the secret rare. Okay. That's cool. So let's go through this. God's Be the Child, Kitty Pride has been offered scholarships at both the Xavier Institute and Emma Frost Massachusetts Academy. Where will she go? Plus the X-Men Engage, the Hellfire Club. This release features VV Exclusive Rare and Ultra Rare, covers by Alan Qua. So if I got the name wrong, I do apologize genuinely. Drops tomorrow, 8 a.m. PT. List price $6.99 as per usual. Published back in 1980, five cover variants, total, total editions, 30,000. So we have 21,000 for classic cover. We have the 5,000 for vintage variant, 2,350 for a hero variant, which is rare. The vibranium variant is 1,050, ultra rare, secret rare, true believer variant is 600. And of course, I would assume that we'll see a 6% licensor fee. I do wonder if we're going to see these licensor fees uh, increase at any point soon. I think Marvel and other IPs like Disney can negotiate better. We'll see. Now, having a quick look at the qualitycomics.com website, we see right here X-Men 129, so the exact same as what we're looking at here. 
Marvel X-Men published January 1980. Again, what we see right here. What's X-Men 129 worth in 2021? Well, the, the comics with a grade of GG 2.0 have, have had a stable value in the $30 to $40 range for the last several years. FN 6.0 copies of this comic have seen this price steadily rise to 60 from 40 a few years before. The highest grade copy of this comic ever to sell was a 9.8 that went for 1,600 in 2019. So why is this comic so valuable? It comes right before some big changes to the X-Men comics. As such, this issue features several references to the original run of the X-Men and pays homage to the comics history. This issue starts the Hellfire Club Saga, saga which leads directly into the Dark Phoenix line of comics. This comic also marks the first appearance of Kitty Pride and Emma Frost. Now, again, as someone who's not massive on the Marvel stuff, like knowing exactly the characters and the timelines and anything like that, I'm not huge into Marvel lore, essentially. Do you know what I'm saying there? Marvel lore, because I've seen some people get caught out by what I'm saying there in this community before. I'm not saying lore is in L-A-W, not like the lore of the land. L-O-R-E is lore <laughs> so lore is uh is like storyline culture history background so i don't know the the history background etc and culture of uh the x-men so i don't know could you probably demo frost very well now we see right here there's a record sale of eleven thousand five hundred and fifty dollars does that mean that these will sell for that i'm not sure i would say no uh but at the same time if this does have, you know, because I don't understand this well enough, but if this website, i.e. the writer on this website, is saying that, you know, it's the first appearance of these two characters, if it comes right before Big Change to the X-Men comics, I'd imagine that this is very important to original X-Men fanatics. Um, if it's also starting the Hellfire, I don't know what the Hellfire Club is, but if it's starting something important, again, that could add, to, add to the value. Also, if you're if you if you're a big fan of X Men, and you're watching this and you think I'm stupid, by all means I'm stupid. I like genuinely I'm fine with that because I'm not an X Men person. So tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Let me know if you really think I'm wrong, and it, you know if there's something that's like I've made a big mistake of, I'll talk about it in the next video straight up. So let me know. Um, but I do wonder what the what the actual sale will be. For example, for Secret Rays, I'd imagine common wise. It won't go for as much, obviously. There's a lot of additions of that. But yeah, 600 is not a lot. So yeah, that's that. Now, looking at some other stuff, right? Because I haven't posted to the channel in... I feel like it's been a few days, but it hasn't. It's probably been like one or two days. I just post to so many other channels at the moment that it feels like I haven't posted to the channel in a while. Um, but I've been looking at some other Web3 stuff. I've been looking at some Web3 gaming, play-to-earn stuff. I actually recently made an account on the Sandbox game. Uh, so at some point I might even make some sandbox videos, maybe and stream it. I'm I'm being wary of it though, um, because I know a lot of you come to this channel for eco me, and so I don't really want to screw my channel. So we'll see. Anyway, then we have the OUP. Now I did make a video about this. I I I know I made a video about it. Looking forward to your feedback on this one, eco me fam from Reese. Jack Ingwell writing, will there be an option eventually to receive more Omi for staking it? Now, making this video whilst I was very, very tired at three o'clock in the morning, I never really thought about the fact that there were no actual rewards regarding additional Omi for staking, because of course that is what many, many enthusiasts want to see, not just with Omi. That's a general thing that people can kind of expect sometimes when it comes to general cryptocurrencies, is staking benefits being that. But Reese made it very clear, and I'm glad that he said it the way he did, because it's it's a very sort of factual to the point statement. No receiving OMI. No, sorry, <laughs> let's try that again. No, receiving OMI as the reward would classify the token as a security, render us legally non-compliant, invalidate our token sales and uses, and require huge financial services, infrastructure, licenses in every jurisdiction the app pop the app. Uh, let's try that again. In every jurisdiction the app operates in. Fair enough. Now, does this mean that it will never happen? I, I, I don't think he said that. 
I think realistically, with Ecomi being a startup, they don't have the resources to do everything that Rees just listed there. On the other end, I would imagine that Ecomi would love to make this a possibility for people because it would definitely incentivize a lot more people to stay Ecomi. I think the fact that people won't be able to get additional OMI for staking it will be a factor for some people, not everyone, but I think it will be a factor for some people. Um, and so I, I would assume that once they have the resources in in hand for it, they will do that. That's not a confirmation. That's just my guess. We'd love to get a comment from Risa or Dan or David or whoever else about that. Um, but yeah, that's just my take. There's no, he's not saying it's a bad idea. He's just saying that we can't really do it right now. That's what I'm reading at least. Then we're looking at some Pokemon stuff. Ali writing, Pokemon Go Metaverse is confirmed by Niantic. Pokemon NFTs can be dropped by on, on VV and then used in the Pokemon Go Metaverse. The underlying fuel, Omi, maybe that's the ecosystem that David Yu was talking about when he said Omi is going to be used by third party apps slash projects. Kyle Wilson quote tweeting this, been telling folks about Pokemon, Niantic, and Lightship, me and Cavell were just talking about some possibilities the other day on stream, matter of fact too. Now, if Omi was used, that would be hashtag VV, hashtag Ecomi. Oh, well, sorry, that'd be mind blowing. So I actually haven't looked at this as well enough. I, I'm actually going to do that right now on, on, on video. Niantic, Pokemon, Go, Metaverse. I, like, if we can see something straight away, then cool. If not... Oh, okay. Three days ago. Okay, we're gonna look at this, y'all. This this might this might be the the, the, the thumbnail and title. Okay. Quatu just invested three hundred blood okay, million. That's a lot of money in Niantic's real world metaverse. Read more. Okay, this is actually I didn't see this. We we gotta go through this. The creator of the famous augmented reality game Pokemon Go has reportedly raised enough funding to build its own metaverse. The company Niantic revealed the achievement of their three hundred million dollar funding goal. Niantic says this money will be invested in the creation of a metaverse that will be just like the real world. Okay. I need to look into Niantic and Koichu. Where did the funding come from? Well, on November twenty second, twenty twenty one, Niantic Inc. Officially unveiled, the company Koatu has invested three hundred million in the firm, valuing it at a whopping nine billion dollars. So, trying to sneeze out here. Jeez. So Niantic is yeah, of course, the company behind Pokemon Go, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that makes sense. So do they? Okay. All right. So they want to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Quality Management is a well-known blockchain and crypto investor having startups including Chain Analysis, okay, and organization of blockchain analytics, Fireblocks, a crypto company, and Certic, which is a blockchain security firm. firm. Very aware. What will the Niantic metaverse entail? Niantic is developing an AR platform on the basis of a 3D model of the platform that can definitely prove to be very important in the upcoming revolution and likely will be a critical addition to the world of AR. We're building a future where the real world is overlaid with digital creations, entertainment, and information, making it more magical, fun, and informative, said the CEO and founder, John Hank. He further stated this vision would require an investment of technology, talent, and imagination in order to come to fruition. Will the Niantic Metaverse make use of crypto or blockchains? Well, they didn't openly state whether they will implement or introduce non-fungible token blockchain technology or crypto in its metaverse. However, with blockchains increasing popularity amongst games and NFTs proving to be awesome collectibles, it would be quite fitting for Niantic to, to employ these features in the metaverse. I re remember this as being written on the website CoinMarketCap, so that's something we had to keep in mind, is that the writer will likely be bullish on crypto anyway. But all of this is speculation, as Niantic has not made any clear statements on the implementation of these technologies. Do we need to go over this? I guess we can. The success of Pokemon Go, the objective of Niantic, as the company itself puts it, is to encourage people to discover the world collectively. This mission is clearly reflected in the collaborative spirit of Niantic's video games such as Pokemon Go and Ingress, which are played by millions of gamers every month. In particular, Niantic's Pokemon Go, which was released in 2016, is among the most popular smartphone games in history, with sales reportedly surpassing 5 billion in early 2021. Dang, okay. So that, that, that's huge. Like I, that, that's actually very. As someone who works in gaming, five billion dollars 
in even a year i didn't think it was doing that well this uh, in 2021 that's actually really cool that's really smart some gamers from the blockchain industry were influenced and intrigued by pokemon go to the extent that one software developing company iotex I don't know if that's the way to say it, but launched a project titled Pebble Go, inspired by Pokemon Go. Okay. This goes to show how influential Niantic and Devis are in their field. One can only wonder what revolution the metaverse will bring out. Final thoughts. I like Facebook's metaverse, which is based on virtual reality. Well, some of it is. Is all of it based on virtual reality? I thought some of it was AR. Anyway, Niantic's metaverse is based on augmented reality. It has referred to VR headset bound metaverses as a dystopian nightmare okay which doesn't come as much of a surprise given niantic's enthusiastic investments and project raised to ar niantic aims to build such a technology in this case the metaverse that allows people to be more connected to the real life surroundings we know the rest and written by so hard mode awesome how long are we going for 15 minutes okay well i was gonna make some other points but honestly they're pretty um not necessary considering we've been going for 15 minutes um but what are your thoughts on this Always interesting stuff, very exciting. Love hearing about all the stuff that's going on by incredibly smart people running incredibly smart companies doing incredibly smart things. Um, I will be making more videos about this uh, metaverse wise. I am trying to figure out where I want to go with the channel from like an Ecomi metaverse web three point of view. Um, and we'll figure it out together, y'all. We'll figure it out together. But with that being said, if this video was interesting or helpful to you in any way, shape or form, a like is always much appreciated. And if you would like to be getting happening in this topic every single day, most time today, this is my channel. I cover everything going on every single day. So if you want to be happening, hit that subscribe button and keep notifications on. Have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you in the next VB video.